Greetings fellow programmers, this is Pavel and this is part 4 of the checking and savings account exercise in Visual Basic. In the last video we created the presentation class that displays uh, the headers for the grid view and it clears or prepares the form you know based on whether it's savings or checkings and I started to uh, code the display grid which it's you know, going to display rows of transactions, but uh, I cannot do it yet. I need to code the transactions class first because we cannot display something that I don't have created yet. So uh, let's go to our transactions uh, class and code that one first. So I'm going to be uh, creating some properties, so public, property and this one's gonna be called transaction name that's gonna be a string and that's gonna be a public uh, property and I'll call this one transaction amount that's gonna be a double this is all quite obvious I think you know what the name is what the amount is we can do the date uh, property transaction date and it's gonna be as date public uh, property and it's gonna be transaction type this is similar to a name but uh, this one's gonna be a boolean this one's gonna be true for deposit false for with draw well rather than checking the string deposit and withdraw well, I'll just do it with a boolean and it's not the same as name name can be also well, something like a check written to Powell that could be the name of the transaction but that's a withdrawal you know so it's gonna be false as a transaction type so I'll do another one public property uh, what do I need? Transaction description, I guess. And that's gonna be a string. And uh, the description will be at the end of the data grid. It will have the date, it will have the name, uh, it will have the type, but it's deposit or false. But when it says something like uh, transfer from check-in the transaction description would be that it's a deposit like by the name of itself you cannot really in immediately say whether it's a deposit or withdrawal well you technically can but, but the program can so I'll have a property for that transaction description and finally I'll do property and I'll call it is transaction committed and this one will be boolean this one will check whether you know any event was risen like a insufficient amount or an insufficient balance or uh, trying to deposit zero or something like that and if it's not true then we will not write anything into our files so okay so that's boolean that and uh, let's do the private this one's this one's not gonna be properties and it's gonna be private shared i'll just call it trans as list and this is what's going to be used in that uh, presentation class as well of uh, transaction and it equals new list of transaction over here I'll just call it that's why I made it a transaction because I was thinking about making it shared instead of uh, you know instantiating an object here I'll just simply call that list itself because the list will be updated uh, with each uh, transaction so I want it shared so I can access it easily and uh, but this one's private I will need to make a property that actually 
get the value from the list because I don't wanna uh, well I could probably do it directly since it's shared anyway but nah let's just do it anyway like private shared uh, new balance as list and this one's gonna be just double because it's holding just the balance it's new list of double okay so that's uh that's our static there and uh, let's do a default constructor uh, I'm thinking I will have to have two constructors one default with no parameters at all just so I can easily instantiate the object and one that will actually take the parameters uh, yeah let's do that because that's gonna be easier down the road because I don't sometimes need all of the uh, properties I may just need like let's say is it committed that's all I need so I don't want to instantiate uh, the object with all the parameters because I won't even have them so I will just need to get the value from it so uh, yeah let's do a default con constructor and on our constructor with parameters we will pass the the columns basically so you can pass the date this is gonna be basically the values uh, the, uh, from the data grid from the columns so the name transaction name as string transaction amount as double and uh, I think I need the type that's basically hold on a second I need to get the I need to get the files here's my check-in I think it was at the end yeah true or false so that's the transaction type if it's true it's deposit if it's uh, false it's a withdrawal so the type as boolean and over here we will simply assign our properties our transaction name will equal t name our transaction amount will equal t amount transaction date equals t date and transaction type equals the type and I can also do is transaction committed I'll just instantiate it to, or initialize it to false and the description again if it's at the end it just says true or false true for deposit false for uh, withdrawal so what we can do is go to the transaction description and write a simple if statement if and this is the ternary operator for visual basic so if uh, the transaction type equals true then the column we want as a or we want to have a deposit otherwise if it's false we, it means drawable that's a basically a if statement if transaction time equals to return deposit otherwise or else uh, return withdrawal but this is all in nice one line quite neat so uh, that's uh, that's our constructors so let me get the properties for the trans and new balance over here so they have to be shared because those uh, uh, those uh, trends and new balance are shared as well because again I want to access them directly without instantiating the object so it's gonna be public shared and I'll do them read only because I'm not gonna be setting them I'm just gonna be reading from them uh, so read only property uh, transaction list as list of 
transaction. All right, and uh, the get set there's only get because it's read only, so we will return our trans. That's our uh, variable over here. That's what we are returning. We are not setting it again. Like I said, this is just to access it from presentation to get it, whatever the value I that is. We, we are not able to set it from anywhere else uh, in presentation class or any other class. Uh, and uh, public share read only property and I'll call this one new balance list as list of a double because what we are going to return is the new balance uh, oh, I don't have it here where's the new not new balance so it's just new balance we are just returning the again the variable this is the property for this variable to return it so if I go to my presentation now uh, this should now be what did I name that transaction new balance list so I'll copy it so it's transaction dot new balance list can't comment type oh this is of account and I am having a double this is supposed to be just double because all I need is the balance not the whole account I don't need a name or anything like that not for the grid the grid simply displays the rows from the file from the text file so over here now I can finish this. Uh, I'll do for i as in integer uh, from zero to trans dot count minus one of course. So never forget that. Otherwise we will get out of bounds, and we will display each row at a time. So from accounts dot transactions dot row that add and what we are adding is the transaction and we are adding the new balance so uh, well, let me just format it a little so it's gonna be add trans i dot the date can be first the sort of transaction date let me format it to string and I'm gonna format it as a month, day, and year because I don't want any hours. Not by default, I would get the the whole date plus uh, hours and minutes and seconds. Uh, I don't want that. Okay, so that's the first. The second one we can add is the uh, I guess the transaction name. Let me just put it over here just a little bit. So trans i dot transaction name trans i the amount to transaction amount and what do you need? Well we need the the balance. So the account balance so it's gonna be account balance that I so it's gonna be account where my I dot actually nothing just account that I that is the balance and finally the description again that's the uh, if you remember the if statement over here it will simply say deposit or withdrawal so it's gonna be trans i dot transaction description yeah well, let me make this a little bigger we don't need to see this anyway so again 
we have our list of transactions that we get from this property over here from the read-only property to a transaction list it will hold every line from the text file and uh, we have the same for the for the balance that we are going to uh, add to the to the grid view to each row and uh, but we only have the double just the balance itself we don't need the uh, over here we need the whole transaction because we have the date of the transaction the name and the description as well over here for the for the balance we just have the amount itself so that that will do and uh, that's really all except you know what I was just I was thinking uh, at the end after this loop is done after each row is done we will have the final balance actually available to us which is the the last balance is the final current balance that we have and that's what we need in order to check some of the transactions like for the withdrawal or when we uh, deposit to it we, that's the that's the amount that we that's, that's our initial amount that our, our current initial amount that we need to uh, actually know in order to add or withdraw from it so uh, I will do something like display balance and I will do account so that's gonna be the account down count minus one so I'm displaying the last element uh, from the grid and I will display it in display balance which is going I'm gonna make a uh, sub for it uh, a method or a function so uh, for now let me just do the last index holds the current account balance so I don't forget all right so that would finish our presentation though but we're not done with the transaction class yet so uh, after these uh, properties I guess what we can do we can finally maybe read those files from the uh, from the text files so and I'll do that in the next video so uh, enough for now and I will see you in the next video so stick around and I'll see you then bye